All right. Well, hello, everyone. Thank you so much uh, for joining us here today. Uh, my name's Cam Linke. I'm the CEO here at Amy, and we're pleased to welcome you here in downtown Edmonton at Amy HQ and to all of our friends joining us online for the live stream. We're incredibly excited to have you here today and share some exciting news about the growth of AI excellence here in Alberta. To start, we'd like to respectfully acknowledge that we're located on Treaty 6 territory, a traditional gathering place for the diverse Indigenous people, including the Cree, Blackfoot, Métis, Nakota Sioux, Haudenosaunee, Dene, Ojibwe, Sotu, Anishinaabe, Inuit, and many other peoples whose histories, languages, and cultures continue to influence our vibrant community. It's in that spirit that we're grateful to have you gathered with us here today. And so to begin, please join me in welcoming a longtime supporter of the tech and AI community here in Alberta, Minister Nate Glubish, Ministry from the Ministry of Technology and Innovation. Nate. Well, thank you, Cam. I'm really excited to be with you here today. Uh, on a beautiful day. It definitely starts to feel like spring, and isn't that a great feeling? Um, I, I'm excited to be here at Amy. You know, I've been following the Amy story for a long time. For those of you who don't know, before I was an MLA and a minister with the Alberta government, I was a venture capital investor. And so I've been following this story since the days when it was the Alberta Ingenuity Center for Machine Learning, and of course the many evolutions since that have brought us here today. And I can say without a doubt that Amy is one of the most exciting technology success stories in Alberta. And that the work that is done here by the, the team, the outstanding team here, has really put Alberta at the forefront on the global stage in the field of AI and machine learning. This is a great example of innovation at work in Alberta, and it is proof that our province is a place where tech companies and creative thinkers can succeed. And there's a number of reasons why Alberta is increasingly being regarded as a, an outstanding hub for technology and innovation, and specifically for artificial intelligence. We know that the University of Alberta was the first in Canada to create a standalone computing science department, and it is ranked as one of the top AI research centers in the world. That is an amazing story that we need to continue to tell. And I often say, that technology is not just an industry, but it is the future of every industry. And I also say that some of the most exciting innovations I ever saw as a venture investor were data-driven innovations. In other words, powered by various iterations of AI and machine learning. Well, these innovations touch every industry, from oil and gas to healthcare, from construction to agriculture, from supply chain management to logistics, and the list goes on. And there are many Alberta success stories that have built outstanding businesses on data-driven innovation. I think back to one of the most exciting companies I ever had the opportunity to invest in and to help build, a company called Circle Cardiovascular Imaging out of Calgary. They started as a team of about 10 people with a vision to transform the way in which cardiologists and radiologists went through and delivered diagnostics for their patients. And they started with a small vision and a team of outstanding AI and machine learning researchers and a team of outstanding cardiac MR researchers with a reputation uh, all around the world as being some of the best. And they went out and said, okay, if we could just get the right data sets and apply the skills that we have of pulling together cardiac medicine and machine learning, we can build new tools that have never before been thought of and radically transform the way in which cardiologists and radiologists work, helping them to deliver better care, meeting the needs of their patients, helping more patients in a day, and getting ultimately better value for our healthcare system. And they did exactly that, my friends. Over the last 10 to 15 years, they have gone from a team of 10 people to over 100, and they have recently sold their business for over a quarter billion dollars. They are still headquartered in Calgary today. That is an outstanding Alberta success story that showcases the power of AI and machine learning and the good news is, they're not alone. And so when we talk about the ways in which artificial intelligence and machine learning can change our lives, can change our world, can change our economy, 
and can change our province for the better. That is just one out of many examples. And the good news is, the work that Amy is doing is helping to create the opportunity for dozens more spin-off companies who are focused on solving problems in new ways with technology, with AI, with machine learning, to make a difference in the world. Imagine if we had dozens of these companies worth hundreds of millions of dollars right here in Alberta. The good news is it's happening, my friends. And it is happening in no small part due to the work that Cam and his team here at Amy are doing. And so as Amy continues to grow its research capacity, um, we know it is important to support that ongoing work. Alberta's government is a firm supporter of this important work here at Amy and, and also the work that other companies around Alberta are doing. And we want to see that work continue and accelerate, expand. We want to see more commercialization of AI technologies. And so in 2022, we launched the Alberta Technology and Innovation Strategy, which allocated $73 million to grow our tech and innovation sector. We know that growing our talent pool is a critical part of making that happen to help grow and diversify our economy. And so I'm so excited to be sharing with you today that in partnership with Alberta Innovates, uh, that we are investing $30 million into AMI uh, to help build Alberta's AI talent pipeline to help accelerate research and commercialization and ultimately to grow Alberta's AI and machine learning ecosystem. We are fully committed to ensuring that Alberta is a destination of choice for innovators and for inventors and for entrepreneurs and for investors across Canada and around the world. We want them here building their new technologies in Alberta and turning those into real companies with real jobs and attracting real investment. Under Budget 2023, the Alberta Technology and Innovation Strategy will continue its funding with $24.5 million in the upcoming year for key initiatives, including support for emerging technologies such as AI and quantum science. So I say all of this to say, share with you that there has never been a better time to be in tech in Alberta than today. We have accomplished so much over the last decade, and I believe Alberta's brightest days lay ahead. And the investments that we are making today into Amy and into other technology-related uh, partners are going to help set the stage for that next generation of momentum in our tech ecosystem. I'm confident that the companies and the research projects and the tools and technologies that will come from these investments and from the work that's happening here at Amy will generate enormous opportunity for every Albertan. So to those students who are studying at our universities in computer science, to those students in our uh, K-12 system who have a passion for STEM-related materials, I say to you, you have a future right here in Alberta. You can reach your fullest potential here. And you can lead a very fulfilling, rewarding, and prosperous life studying what you are passionate about and implementing it in your life and in your career you can do that here in Alberta, and we believe in you, and we're investing in the foundations that will be required to help you reach your greatest success. And so, for that and many other reasons, I am so proud and excited to be supporting Amy with this funding commitment uh, for the next number of years so that they can continue this great work. And with that, uh, I want to say thank you for your time, thank you for having me here, and I look forward to spending more time with all of you in the coming months. Okay, the minister's a lot taller than I am. <laughs> In many ways, his checkbook is bigger than mine too. Um, so, uh, good morning everyone. I am tremendously excited to be here. Why? This is another step in a journey we all started 20 years ago with the government of Alberta, with the University of Alberta, with ourselves, Alberta Innovates, or our predecessor corporations. And this is a major milestone in that journey because we've gone from basic research and something that the rest of the world said was, ha, ho-hum, machine learning won't happen, reinforced learning won't happen, 
and look what we've proved. We've proved all of that is possible and more. And now we've actually been able to take that journey further to actually have Amy as a separate entity that uh, together we stood up with Alberta Innovates just a few short years ago. And look what has been achieved because Amy is around. So this um, announcement that the minister mentioned, this 30 million, is an accelerant to that journey. You know, we probably started off driving a very small car. Perhaps we were on a bicycle at the beginning of an hour journey. And then we got kind of like, perhaps a motorbike. And now, I think we just sat in a Ferrari. We're about to take off. <laughs> and because we're in that Ferrari, we know we have such potential. You know, potential that this, this grant, this donation under the ATIS program, Minister, thank you, has, is really going to accelerate with real results, not just looking to the future, but making the future. Those results that we'll be looking at over the next four years are to include over a thousand companies being trained in the use of artificial intelligence, companies here at home, and companies that want to move here. You know, interns that will get not just practical experience, but actually be going into industry, knowing from the day one what they can contribute to that industry. There'll be at least 120 startups that will participate with Amy to get support and help create products that are data and AI driven. You know, there's going to be more than two and a half thousand Albertans trained in, in AI. And I think that is a low estimate of what really is to come. And you think about the partnerships that are going to come from this. We believe it's almost 400 partnerships that we will be talking about when we stand up and talk about the next milestone for Amy as we go forward. What does that mean, really, to every one of us? You each have a future here. Your relatives have a future. Your children have a future here. And by the way, we're going to take about mm, a big chunk of that $16 trillion artificial intelligence market and make sure it's here. So because you are leaders and you have done so well, we really at Alberta Innovates want to congratulate you. But it's more about, it's not about congratulations for today's announcement. It's about congratulations from the beginning of your journey. And it's a promise of what we know working together will be achieving. You know, you are, uh, Amy, one of the top three learning institutes in the world. And this contribution is nothing more than that accelerant that's actually going to attract more resources uh, to the table. And, and Cam, I'm not sure what I can say here, but I do know that this, thanks to the minister's uh, contribution here, that this has uh, attracted at least over another 80-odd million into the pool here. In, in Alberta, which is so incredibly important. We need to advance awareness, though, of Alberta's strengths as a global leader in this space. And we are a global leader. In North America, we're ranked second for all the work we do in machine learning and reinforced learning. Across Canada, we're one of the top three. We're too polite in Canada to really say we're number one, but <laughs> it's okay. But I really believe that we are on the bend in the S curve, you know, where it just bends and starts going up exponentially. We're at the bend in the S curve for all things artificial intelligence in this province. And together, that is gonna be a major economic driver of this province. So, moving forward, Alberta Innovates will continue to support Amy and the development of new AI products knowledge transfer, commercialization, and try and strengthen Alberta's profile as a leader in artificial intelligence. I think I can speak for all of us in saying that we want people to be thinking, Alberta is the place to be. Repeat after me, Alberta is the place to be. Thank you. Now, 
Now that you have my mantra for the rest of the day, and we know what we're going to achieve in the bend in this S-curve, I'd like to introduce you to the leader that's going to make that happen. No finer a dedicated uh, person than um, our own Cam Linky, and I also want to thank the chairman, Bruce Johnson. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Laura. I appreciate the kind words. I should, I feel like I should be very clear that I was told explicitly no buying a Ferrari uh, with this investment, just in case anybody was wondering. So uh, yeah, like that, that, yeah, I had to make sure that was clear in case anybody was wondering uh, online. Um, no, thank you, Laura. Thank you, Mr. Glubish, so much, you know, for this investment uh, and for the long-term ongoing support that's really allowed us to be where we are here today, yeah, you know, congratulations always feel funny. You know, we, we're very proud of what's happened so far, but we really do feel like the best is yet to come. And the impact, um, as you said, as we hit this, hit the, the S curve on this, um, you know, we're really just starting to see the, the start of. You know, Alberta has a firmly established foundation of AI excellence due in large part to forward thinking investments that Amy has received from Alberta Innovates and from the government of Alberta. And today's announcement is an incredible show of confidence towards the work that we've been doing to advance our ability to make both AI and machine learning the primary drivers of sustainable growth for Alberta's economy. A couple months ago, we invited everyone here to talk about an ambitious investment we were making with our partners at the University of Alberta in attracting 20 new AI researchers here to continue to grow our research and talent leadership. And at Amy and in Alberta, our ambitions also extend to being one of the top places in the world globally to realize the incredible economic impact that AI is going to have. Today's an investment in that ambition. Investment in work with companies like Adabotics, who are using AI to solve some of the big problems that we're hitting in the supply chain with partners like Canadian Tire. And what I want to mention today is another value that we talk about here at Amy, and that is approachability. We have a unique culture here of our staff, researchers, students, and partners who are all very ambitious but at the same time strive to be very approachable in that ambition. That goes from how our people interact to how we think about the field of AI and how we make it approachable to the largest group of people and businesses possible. Businesses like EasyOps who are using AI to optimize oil and gas wells to make sure that we make best use of the resources that we have here in the province. AI has become the most important tool of our time. And as Amy advances the science of AI, we seek to make the field more approachable by acting as a translator, translating that research into industry impact in the shape of talent development, commercialization, and ecosystem development. We see ecosystem development through companies like Drug Bank, who are using AI to make sure that the field of drug discovery can accelerate as fast as possible. As the world moves towards a digital transformation, there's a global demand for AI talent, many of which you see here in the room today. Through this funding, Amy will continue to provide education and programs that further deepen Alberta's technology and innovation talent pool. Training such as Amy's Willow program that's created over 100 work integrated learning opportunities that place top tier technical talent on industry facing engagements while those participants continue their graduate studies. These impactful learning opportunities create pathways for participants to gain mentorship, transition from academia to industry, and build a runway for participants to move on to full-time employment opportunities here. Amy's proud to partner with companies of all sizes and across industries. Through this funding, we'll, we'll be able to continue su to support a system that facilitates the commercialization of Alberta research and innovation to address global challenges. Last year, Amy worked with 115 companies in translating knowledge, talent, and technology into industry. 
We will continue to work with industry leaders to address some of the world's most pressing challenges around emissions, food insecurity, and global supply chain demands. We've developed this program alongside industry to make sure that the challenges that they face in accessing AI, understanding the technology, staying up to date on its progress, and ultimately accessing the, uh, the talent needed to succeed, we're making sure that that is available for companies here in Alberta. Making AI approachable ultimately means that from basic AI methods through to some of the most cutting edge machine learning technologies are able to realize their impact with companies here in Alberta. This investment will help us continue to scale our industry driven programs to make AI an accessible tool that is going to drive this province's future. Ultimately, this is an incredible investment in Alberta and Alberta's future and enables us to continue the momentum that long-standing investments made by Alberta Innovates and the province across the entire ecosystem are able to have an incredible impact, not just on our region, but around the world. So on behalf of Amy, I'd like to thank Alberta Innovates, thank the government of Alberta for their continued investment in Amy and Alberta's legacy in AI. I'm excited for what's to come and the impact that this is going to have on our province and our continuing worldwide leadership in AI. So thank you all so much for coming. We'll be setting up to answer any questions for the media here shortly. In the meantime, I would invite our guests to our co-working space, enjoy some of our coffee from our friends downtown here at Faro, chat with some of our great students uh, about their work integrated learning opportunities and check out our space. Thank you again so much for coming. We're very excited for AI's future in Alberta. Okay, now we can take uh, any questions from media from the floor, if there are any. Seeing none, uh, do we have anyone online? Oh, we do have one? Oh, of course, please. There's, oh, sorry, there's a mic at the back of the room, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, right, right there. Seems awkward sending you to the back to ask a question. <laughs> Uh, Colin Gallant, Taproot Edmonton. I just wanted to know more about the road to commercialization and how this money specifically going to be used to do that. Well, I guess that's probably a better question for Cam. Uh, you know, I, I'll just say a couple of words briefly that I think the team here at Amy has demonstrated a, a great track record at building the talent pool, investing in research, bringing the best minds from around the world into one place to tackle some of the toughest problems by applying. AI and related technology to solve those problems. And so they've been excellent at building partnerships with industry uh, and really just moving the needle on, on applying these technology tools to solve problems. So I'll, I'll turn it over to Cam to talk a little bit more specifically about what that looks like, but those are some of the reasons why we at the Government of Alberta and me specifically as Minister uh, believe in Cam and this team and want to see them continue in this great success. Yeah, it's a great question. Um, you know, so the, the first part about it is everything that we do on the industry side is industry driven. What are the challenges and problems that industry is facing and how do we help them tackle those, those problems? So if you look at the core challenges that get hit, first, very often a base understanding of what machine learning is, where it can be used in their business. So we have programming around helping identify AI opportunities, identifying the business case around that and the impact um, and opportunity it can create for a business. What, moving on from there, it's also understanding, it's helping businesses understand what they're going to need to be successful in the area. So it's great to have a business case you know, around what you're doing or around an opportunity, but how do we make sure that the ingredients necessary for that company are there? And then always what's, what ends up happening is who's gonna do this? This is the most in-demand talent in the world right now. And so we work with companies on both accelerating the projects that they're doing and helping them recruit and uh, place talent on the projects that they need to move forward. So all of these, we're happy to, to dive into like specific details if you want, but the core thing is solving those big challenges that industry has in being able to have, in being able to grow their capacity in AI. Thank you. Uh, may I ask one more? Yeah. Um, I just had a question about Laura Kilcrease's comment about $80 million 
coming separately as a result of this 30 million investment. I may have misunderstood uh, what she was getting at there, but I was wondering if uh, someone could elaborate on that, please. Yeah, so I could probably answer that one. Uh, so uh, we're very fortunate to be able to, to be supported both federally and provincially. Um, you know, re it was announced, I believe, a, a year ago now uh, that the Canada was the first country to have a national AI strategy. And six years ago, uh, invested in three core places in the country, Montreal and Toronto and Edmonton, as the three leaders of that strategy, the three pillars of it. Uh, so renewed a year ago uh, with a focus around at growing the, our research investment, um, uh, growing the commercialization and impact of that, and growing the compute tools necessary in order to realize that uh, was made by the, the federal government. Um, and so she was talking about the, the investment made there in, in us as part of that. You know, like all of you, you have to have people that are willing to invest and take a risk. And we, at Alberta Innovates, and the government of Alberta with the minister, made that bet 20 years ago. We've continued to follow that seed investment to what I would call a Series A or a Series B if it was a, a separate company. And you know what? Our leadership and the leadership of Amy has shown the federal government and other folks why they should follow on after our seed investment with this other 80 million. And that says we have endorsement from across the country in every level. And I think that's important. But without the province going first, we probably wouldn't have been at the stage to attract that investment. And so our partners at uh, elsewhere have enabled us to leverage this 30 million up to uh, with another 82 to over 100 million. So please tell me who in this town can say, hmm, that seed investment got you 100 million dollars to do what you need to do. And by the way, there are a couple of them, but there's going to be a lot more because of Amy and Cam's work. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any more questions from the floor? Okay, we'll go to the phones, anyone? Okay, that concludes there are no the questions on the phone at this time. Oh. Gremlins, I think. That concludes the formal part of our program. Thank you all.